says she needs the new systematic theology by Joel. And so I don't have the dust jacket on, but I have it right here. And let me tell you what, um, I am just kind of like, you know, slowly treading my way through this. And, and man, it is a fantastic book. And I'll tell you what, out of all of the, 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 the books that have come out lately, this book on the internet has received the most buzz uh, out of any book in a long time. I mean, everybody has been talking about this book and everybody has been waiting for it because it's sold out. And it's, it was really hard to get. And so people were waiting a really long time. And, and so if you have it, it you're like, it, it's just, it's a really good book. I was actually reading it this morning um, during my, uh, my morning studies. And that actually, there's a section in here that kind of dictated what we're going to talk about tonight. Well, one of the topics, but the book is fantastic. I posted something the other day on my Facebook page about, uh, WTS books, uh, shout out to them again. Uh, and, and, and I just, I can't express how good of a bookstore they are. They have it on sale for $30. Uh, I, I would, I would go there and, and I would, I would purchase it. it it's that good of a book. You need to have it on your shelves. And, and, and I think that you would benefit from it um, by by using it as don't don't look at a book like this, because, again, I, I say this all the time. I mean, this is a, this is a huge book. And, and so you grab a book like this and you think there is no way in the world that I'm ever going to read through something like this. That might be true, but don't deter yourself from getting a book like this because of the, the size. Uh, you don't have to read a book like this cover to cover. Open the book, go to the table of contents, and find out the areas that you are interested in learning more about and pull those out and use them in your morning studies. Uh, I'm going to shout out Chris again. He's been going through the Christian's Reasonable Service, which is um, those four white volumes up there. That's that's the Christian's Reasonable Service. It's a large set, but but he has, uh, I, if I I think I'm, I'm, I'm saying correctly, He's been using it sort of like as his devotional, where he's reading a little bit here and there, and he's just sort of slowly working his way through it. Uh, he's not trying to like read the whole entire thing. That's four volumes. He's not trying to read the whole entire thing in one weekend. Like he recognizes that this is something that he's going to commit to. He's going to work his way through it slowly. Uh, but he's posted some great stuff. I've read some great stuff in those volumes as well. So so don't deter yourself from getting a big theological work because of the length. And I know.